Daddy, will you be able to identify the thief if they catch him? Certainly I will, little girl. I remember that young punk kid the longest day I lived. Oh, Archie, was he really young? Yeah, he was young. And believe it or not, he was wise. <laughs> Why shouldn't we believe that? You never pick up any black fez. Oh, shut up. Why don't you never pick up any black people, Archie? You want me driving up there to Harlem? Suppose my cab broke down the corner 137th Street and Lenny Sam. You what do you think it happened? Maybe somebody repair it for you. <laughs> You're always saying that colored people are good fixing cars. Uh, that's only when they're in white neighborhoods. <laughs> Archie, you are so full. Hey, hey, hey. Why was that? Why was that? Why was that? Pull a wire. Pull a wire. Hey, hey. The women cut you off, but you was gonna say something dirty in the living room, man. Yeah? You were talking stupid. Why do you always have to talk stupid? To make you understand. <laughs> How come you're never on my side, even when a guy holds me up? Archie, if they catch that boy, will you have to take off work and go to court for his trial? Certainly I will. Sure I will. I'll lose a day's pay, but it's worth it to see that piece of filth thrown into the jug. Hey, hey, wait a second, Archie. You're talking about a human being. I'm talking about a creep. All right, I agree. He should be punished for what he did, but you don't go around calling people pieces of filth. How about piece of creep? <laughs> There you go, talking stupid again. There you go, understanding me again. <laughs> now you're slapping around with him in a pot. <laughs> it's Chinese food. You don't look like chinks to me. Chinese food. Oh, that's what I said, chinks, and that ain't it. Yes, it is, Daddy, and it's very good. Michael made it. Michael? <laughs> Are you letting me head cook my sugar? Oh, yeah. Frank Lorenzo taught him how to do it. Then let him and Frank Lorenzo eat it. Oh, it looks so good and it smells. It smells like fertilizer. <laughs> That's what you're for. That's it. You're not eating it. He's not eating the food. Daddy, you can at least try it. What would you say if you cooked dinner and Michael wouldn't eat any of it? I say that the meathead probably got magnesia and forgot where his mouth was. <laughs> That's right. Try to do something nice for somebody, and look what happens. They throw it right back in your face. Thank you very much. Hey. <laughs>